mystery. <laughs> Detective Extraordinary. This is Oliver Edgerton. When a jewel collector calls a private detective, it only means one thing. Am I right? If you're referring to robbery, yes, but it's more than that. Can you come over? I'll make it a large fee. Open your door, client. I'll be there to greet you. I don't see the need of calling in a private detective, Mr. Edgerton. After all, I'm the investigator for the insurance company. That's the whole trouble, Maxwell. You've accused me of stealing my own diamonds. Take it nice and slow, Mr. Richardson. What's the rap? Last night, Mr. Sloan, my safe was broken into and one of my prized diamonds was taken. Anything else touched? That's the strange thing. Only this one diamond was stolen. You must be dealing with a maniac. Maxwell here is the investigator for the insurance company. He claims he has proof that I stole my own diamond so I could collect the insurance. Well, I have. It's the most preposterous charge I've ever heard. Your company, Maxwell, is just trying to get out of paying me the insurance. What's this proof you claim to have, Maxwell? Well, this morning, after Mr. Edgerton phoned my company to report the robbery, I was sent out to investigate. Never mind the embroidery. What are the facts? I went into the garden and found footprints clearly outlined in the mud. You recall it rained last night. Yeah, I remember. Go ahead. I took plaster casts of the prints. Here they are. Very pretty. What's the next exhibit? See here, Sloan, are you going to permit him to go on with this nonsense? I'm democratic. He's got a right to talk. While Mr. Edgerton was away this afternoon, I went to his bedroom and found this pair of shoes. You can see for yourself that they have mud all over the soles. Watch out, the mud's falling off. My biggest proof is this. The plaster cast I made in the garden this morning fits these shoes exactly. The prints in the garden lead directly to the library, where the safe is located. Those shoes were not in my closet this morning. I looked for them then. There's your proof, Sloan. Edgerton stole the diamond so he could collect the insurance on it. What did you do before you became an investigator for this insurance company, Maxwell? Huh? What's the idea of that question? Just wondering, that's all. Say, did you know it rained this afternoon? The prince in the garden must be gone. Yes, I know it rained. Will you stop discussing the weather, Mr. Sloan, and tell this man he's crazy? He's not crazy, Mr. Edgerton. He knows what he's doing. You didn't steal that diamond, and he knows it. <laughs> Clue did Sam Sloan discover that proved Edgerton's innocence? In just a moment, we'll know, but first. Talking through your hat, Sloan. Edgerton stole his own diamond. You manufactured your own phony proof, Maxwell. Edgerton's shoes can't possibly be the ones that made those prints in the plastic cast. You see, any good investigator knows that anyone walking in mud makes a bigger impression than that of his shoes. The fact that the shoes and prints match proves that Edgerton never walked in that garden. You got hold of his shoes, made plastic casts, and then put some mud on them to make it look real. You didn't want to pay the insurance, Maxwell, but you'll have to pay a lot more. A comfortable, long jail sentence. 